the safe change lane. On a dual carriageway, if ahead of you there is a roundabout where you have to turn right. Go right on the roundabout and take the fourth exit, New Road. You may be asked by the examiner to change lane. Uh, examiner can use such words just for planning ahead. You will be turning right. So that's a prompt so for you to be in the right, lane. In the right lane. He's turning right, taking fourth exit towards town center. Go right on the roundabout and take the fourth exit. And he should be following the road markings for shops. He's in the extreme right lane. It's a spiral roundabout. The most common mistake on this roundabout, people jump towards the lane for Envil. Please don't do that. There is no split in the lane. Just stay in your lane. Follow the markings for shops and ultimately you should end up towards the fourth exit, which is for town center. Make sure you check your mirrors Take on this roundabout, especially. Road, then bear left. There can be scooters filtering through the traffic. After 200 yards, bear left, then bear right. So that's just a bend. Bear left, then bear right. So, he, it was just a bend, but uh, he ended up in the right lane. did not say stay right. There are signal from place. After 200 yards, bear right, new road. Bear right is a bend. Okay. It's not staying right. Oh, okay, okay. So, it was just a bend, one-way system, one-way flow of traffic. Make sure you stay in the left lane, and bear right is a bend to the right. Okay. If you have ended up in the right lane at the safest and earliest opportunity after careful use of mirrors, move back to the left. Turn left, Winchester Street, then bear right, Serum Hill. So the left lane here is dedicated for left turn. If there is no traffic, you should read the road Turn markings left, then bear right. and it will not be a good idea to ask the examiner where you have to go. Mirrors should be checked. Take it easy on bear this right, bend. Serum Hill, then turn left. Another bend to the right. Very careful about oncoming cars and because you have to change your position if you are dealing with the same sort of scenario, don't forget to check your side mirror before moving to the After right side. Yards, turn left, Penrith Road. Traffic lights we've been returning left. If I was him, I would have signaled after back. the white car. Uh, but as soon as the instruction was given by the SATNAV, I would have checked my mirrors. Am I your examiner or yes, instructor? Exactly. Once again. Thank <laughs> you. And what's my name? Richard. Thank you. <laughs> but yes, that was for cycling. cycling. That's the benefit of doing a mock test. You can feel how it will, how the situation will be when you will be with the examiner. You wanted to ask something, but yeah, they can help you sometimes, but not all the times. There were two solid white lines. You should have stopped before the first solid white line. The space between the two solid lines is usually for the cyclists.
at the end of the road, turn right Winchester Road. Once again, the timing for turn the signal right. can be better. Especially oncoming cars, lots of drivers on his right. Somebody can easily, easily think that he's not reaching, or he's not going towards the end of the road and he's turning into one of the driveways. But mirrors should be checked. There was a gap between the instruction and the use of mirrors. A bend, a traffic calming measure, easing of accelerator will be really good. Good use of mirrors and signal. And I'm quite peaceful as well because he has reduced his speed before stopping. Okay, drive on whenever you're ready. <laughs> Technique is prepare, observe and move. He has done the observation first and then preparation. Because you want to move off with the latest information around you. If you take a couple of seconds, prepare after your observation, there is a possibility the situation around you have already changed. After 200 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A30, Winchester Road. This roundabout be very careful. Cross the roundabout Restricted and take view. The second exit. Especially due to this island before the roundabout and bushes and plants. So approach very take slowly. The exit, then keep left. No doubt he is checking his mirrors, but in my view, he should be a little bit more proactive. After the instruction, he should have checked his mirrors straight away. So you can better plan slowing down and stopping. Keep left. Same, he's got a brilliant control on the car. His steering, his gears, most of the stuff is really, really nice. Only thing which I will love to see is use of mirrors. So from previous roundabout up till this roundabout, he's focusing nicely where he wants to go, but there were there was a traffic light which can be green, which can be red. So checking your mirrors after a few seconds more often is, is, is really good. After 300 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, Brighton Way. In here, we have heard the instruction already. He's nicely picking up the speed. So we are going towards Brighton Hill, which is left turn second exit. Due to the bus stop, the next sign is not clearly visible. So you will be, or you should be given this information by the examiner. On approach, stay in the left lane. But don't forget, you are turning left, taking second exit. So once you have changed the lane, after that, cancel your signal. It is not a bus lane. There is a bus stop. Uh, Lots of my students, they ask me, can I go there? Yes, it is good. If there is no bus, go there. If you delay it, somebody else behind you can take over the space. 
follow the road markings for Brighton Hill, even this sign. When you will be waiting at the traffic lights, this sign which has just passed will be visible. And that says, out of five, the second lane on the left is for Brighton Hill. If you see any pedestrians here, make sure you do the signal. This road is Brighton Way. Yeah, he's asking me the, the name of that road, this road, and this is Brighton Way. After 300 yards, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, Sullivan Road, then turn right. In the next few minutes, you will be finishing your test. Don't get overly excited. Just take it easy, take your time. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, then turn right. Nice open junction. So you will be turning right here. Turn Over right, here, then turn keep a good eye for the pedestrians. Because it's a T-junction and if there is somebody there, and if it is safe to do so, try to give them way. Sometimes you will find lots of parked cars over here. And he has stalled. He was in third gear. He was entering the car park. He did not change and then his gear. Any day on any side and, finish with a forward day and a good possibility this will be a serious turn driving fault. Possible, because the car behind the him... Of the, road, turn right. the car behind him was not expecting that he will stop suddenly. That's good. He's turning right and he has kept his right signal on. And he has parked very nicely. When you enter in the car park, please drive slowly. You can do in second gear, but if it is too busy, just slow down. If you can, go even in first gear. In a manual car, usually you have so to do you this. So you can reverse out of it, face of the car to the right and left. It's up to you. With a good but clutch control. You'll be driving towards exit, which is there. This way. That's up to you. Exit is there, but you can face right, face left reverse out of it. That's your choice. Once again, prepare your car first, put the car in reverse gear first, then do your observation. So you can move off with the latest information. So you can reverse back with the latest information. Take it easy. Before moving off, he should have checked his right shoulder definitely. But if you can do even all around observation, that is even better. So that's the end of his driving test. At the end of road, turn right. Of course, he will finish near the test center, which is a right turn and then another right turn. Uh, but this part, apart from this gear change uh, in the car park, Apart from this issue, he was really good, really good. In real test as well, take it easy. After 5-10 minutes, you will start to feel normal. Don't rush. Talk to yourself. Do commentary driving. These are the techniques the which are very helpful. On the right 